All right, pretty chilly today. I guess I don't really have to remind you temperatures warming up to 44 right now, but we're already seeing them cooling again on the backside. Heavy rainfall moving across I 35 actually dragging down some of the warmer air aloft and making us uh, warm up a little bit. 39 in Temple 43 Colleen temperatures going to drop back into the 30s as we go into the evening into the overnight hours. Temperatures range anywhere from the lower 30s northwest to the upper 30s and maybe some lower 40s off towards the southeast. Wind chills were in the 20s for much of the day. Winds are finally relaxed relaxing but overall still 5 to 15 miles per hour. It feels like the lower 20s out towards the northwest. And they've got ice on the ground out there. Hey, good news. Just a little bit ago, National Weather Service canceled the flood watch uh, for the remaining counties across uh, central Texas and have uh, pushed it back further off towards the northeast. But we could still see some isolated uh, rounds of heavy rainfall over the next couple of days, and we've seen a lot of it in places, but no big flood threat right now. We've seen breaks at times, and the ground's been able to soak it up. Uh, pretty well here over the last uh, 24 to 48 hours. We do have one winter weather advisory for Comanche County. You got ice on the ground from Brownwood to Comanche and points off towards the north. If you're heading out that way today, tonight, early tomorrow, they could see some freezing drizzle, some freezing rain to late tonight, early tomorrow morning, but they've got a lot of ice on those bridges and overpasses up there in areas to the northwest of us. So again, keep that in mind. The back edge of today's rain is approaching the I-35 corridor. A lot of heavy rain with it and a lot of lightning too. Two. Once it's clears, you saw the edge on the uh, left side of your screen. We're going to see a break and then we'll see more rain returning late tonight into tomorrow. Just isolated activity off towards the east. Got an isolated thunderstorm moving out of Robertson County, lifting off towards the northeast into Limestone, eventually Freestone County. A lot of rainfall areas in the blue, anywhere from a quarter of an inch to an inch. Areas in the green, a half uh, inch and a half to two and a half. And the darker greens and yellows and reds, three to five inches. So big winters are western and northwestern half. And again, some more rainfall on the way. We get a break as we go through the evening overnight. And then uh, late overnight, early tomorrow morning, we'll see some energy lift through scattered showers. Watch it maybe out towards uh, our far western, northwestern areas right around that freezing mark. Best chance for widespread rain more in the AM hours than isolated showers remaining possible through the rest of the afternoon. And check this out as we go into Friday. Another round of scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible. Here's a look at that seven day forecast again. Showers and thunderstorms around the region likely for your Thursday for your Friday, and then we'll see a front move through on Saturday. Could see a line of showers and thunderstorms with that one. We'll definitely continue to watch it. Overall, the best chance for rain probably along and east of 35. Then we'll get a little bit of a break Sunday into Monday, then tracking more rain chances Tuesday into Wednesday. Stick around after the break. We'll have more six news.